sort of the the the, the uh, sort of triple A leagues like the D League and like the NBL in some more coordinated way. Uh, but you know the issues of travel are always uh, a little bit uh, disheartening. I know that makes it sound like us Americans again, but it's, uh, <laughs> it becomes an issue. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, and thanks to our fans in Australia for for following us and. Uh, you know, for being such great NBA fans. Ed White there speaking to the commish, David Stern. So, Ed, uh, a bit of an experience there, and you you did only get a brief time, but it was a pretty uh, good chance to probe one of the top men in basketball. It was great, and he knew, you know, he knew everything. I mean, he reeled off Andrew Bogut and, and you know, Luke Longley and Andrew Gaze and Shane Heal. You know, he's a very, very, very brilliant man so there wasn't much i was going to slip by him but at the time i interviewed him there was a story going around that the nba was interested in the nbl that's probably off the card off the table now for a number of reasons i would suggest but yeah wonderful guy great opportunity i was very fortunate we're going to break on bet stars and sports take bet star on at betstar.com.au this is bet stars and stripes with dr turf ed wyatt and alice Gander. Sure is, and we're here thanks to BetStar. Give, BetStar's giving you $2 power lines on every NFL game every Sunday at 4 p.m. Head to betstar.com.au or betstar.mobi and take advantage of this great offer. And it's a perfect segue because we're going to be talking NFL. Don't forget, we do have the Who Am I coming up with your chance to win in this hour. But let's talk about some of the big issues, starting with my bucks. They won, and they won well on <laughs> Thursday night. And I was very happy to watch Josh Freeman throw three touchdowns. Well, we all wondered whether Minnesota were any good. In fact, probably more doubters than uh, people mm. think that. But they actually put that to bed because they are putrid, Minnesota. They were bad. Uh, not Bay- to take anything away from Tampa, I agree. Doug Martin was fantastic. They yeah. couldn't tackle him. Couldn't tackle the rookie from Boise State. A couple of touchdowns, 250 yards. Uh, as you mentioned, Tao, Josh Freeman, very good at quarterback. He's been erratic. I mean, he's, yeah. he's got a lot of talent. He had a good game. He did have a good game. But you're right, Minnesota every, could get nothing going. Every time they looked like getting back into the game, they, they made a horrible error somewhere. Uh, turned the ball over. Oh, how many times did they turn the ball over in the first half? They had a Thursday bunch night. of turnovers. They're now they're still five and three because they had that great start, in Minnesota. But my gut feeling on them, and I've said this very from the very beginning, eight and eight team maybe. I mean, I can't yeah. see it. They're not going to make the playoffs. But it's been a solid season for them. People expect them to win three games all year. <laughs> Let's be honest; they've already won five. So if they finish the year eight and eight, I know Minnesota fans don't want to hear that now. That's a win. That's a good good well, season. They for would them. be very happy. I think they've got a buy this week, have they not, Minnesota? I oh, believe next they, week, uh, have, yeah, I think they do. And what about, so we were talking in the break, guys, particularly you, Doc, we're talking about uh, Eli Manning and uh, and his ability. I mean, he's just, he's already a superstar of the game and uh, and his ability in the last quarter It's to, worth watching the last three minutes to see Eli put on a floor show. Yeah. Because that's what he did. He put on a floor show. Didn't care. They were down, but he knew who was going to get that field goal at the very least to get he, the extra He just time. marshaled the troops, didn't he? He yep. just sort of didn't bit, allow the opposition any time to uh, get their defense set. And uh, gee, he was outstanding. He yeah, he's the- he's done really, really well, and, and and that's a beauty of that team. It's a veteran team. They trust him. He trusts his players. And and uh, you're right, Doc. I mean, they are a beauty. It's a beautiful thing to watch when you know that they they are confident and they've they got the right a, plays. Yeah, and they, they just thought of go. A timeout. No, no, they just it go. Never with entered it. his yep. mind. No, it's great. I agree. And um, and what about the uh, Ravens? What do you guys make of the Ravens? I mean, they well, got. Uh, I think what we feared with them, didn't we? Uh, what we feared with uh, losing all those players out injured and um, their uh, defensive lineup is in tatters, I suppose. Yeah, I didn't think it would be this bad. Forty three thirteen, they lost to Houston. It's a great comeback By for Houston. the Texans yeah, after I'm... losing their first game of the year. That that shows to me that they're for real. Uh, the the disappointing thing for Baltimore, and I know they got a lot of heat uh, in the local media. There, I was reading some of the the internet sites in, in Baltimore. They're not happy with that offense, and Joe Flacco in particular had a pretty poor game. And that's the thing that had been sustaining them, oddly enough, is the offense. So they they could be in a little bit of trouble if Cincinnati weren't so inept and Pittsburgh so erratic. I think uh, the Ravens will probably still be okay. Um, and so you're uh, so you're thinking they'll turn around. No panic stations yet for the Ravens. They'll turn that around. Oh, yeah, look, I think you're right. I mean, I think they just need to, to – I think there's no doubt that that hurts them, but they need to get back on track uh, uh, offensively. I think that's a, a real important thing. The other one that got me was that the Jets and Patriots game. I watched – I would say I don't tend these days to watch a full NFL game because it's just too long, too much other stuff to do. You know, I'm a dad, that kind of thing. But 
this game I watched almost every minute of because I really want to see. And the Jets had so many chances yeah, they did. to win that thing, and they got really conservative at the end. They really that when they got the ball, I think I can't remember the fumble. New England fumbled it, and it was uh, they were down three, and they had opportunity to get back in. They brought Tebow on. I don't know if you remember this. They just kind of ran it into the line and got one yard, and then they fell on the ball a couple times and kicked the tying field goal. But you know, people really wanted them to go for it and, and try and uh, you know win this thing. And very disappointing. You get a gauge on them with the Dolphins this week because they're not much chop the Dolphins, I don't think. Mm. And uh, they're at home. And uh, I, I guess if they're going to go anywhere in uh, this season, they've got to beat the Dolphins. Well, they're 3-4. The Dolphins are 3-3. Three and three. The Dolphins have done some good things. Dolphins lost two games in overtime. They could easily yeah, be 5-2, and two, which is strange to think about. Uh, but you're right. I think at home, uh, coming off that, that uh, tough loss, it'll be interesting to see how they respond. And I agree with you. I think it's an important game. So, uh, so one of the segments that's coming up now is going to be education. It's uh, a segment where Ed is kind enough to uh, to talk us through oh, an aspect of the game. Yes. Uh, bef- and straight after that, we're going to have our quiz, our Who Am I quiz. Um, so we need to get two callers on the line. And uh, so we need two people to ring up on 94291116. Uh, and you'll play off in a Who Am I for a chance to win an NFL game pass, including uh, home and away season and the, uh, and the playoffs. It so- is... Completely worth it, I can say, as a subscriber myself. Nine four two nine eleven sixteen. We'll have two of you head to head jump on the line now. Ed, yes. What have you got for us? You want this me week? to educate you tonight? Please. I, I thought we talked about the, just briefly about the safety and the touchback. A lot of people confuse the two and and say that it, they call actually a safety a touchback. A safety is when you are tackled in your own end zone or lose the ball out of your own end zone, uh, and it's two points for the other team. That's a safety. Uh, we saw that in the Forty uh, Nineers game, yeah, a couple of weeks ago. A touchback is when the ball, like when you're punting and the ball goes into the end zone, and the other team brings it out to it, the twenty. That's that's the difference. That, that's a touchback. The other interesting thing about safety, and this is what we saw the other night, is if you commit a penalty in the end zone, it is a safety. So if a lineman holds in the end zone, if you intentionally ground it in the end zone, anything like that, it is two points. And just for our friends from Canada out there, I thought I would mention there is a one-point option in Canadian football <laughs> called a single – or a rouge, which means red in French, a rouge. And that is when you punt the ball out of the end zone or you kick it and miss and it goes out of the end zone. It's one point. So you can imagine the betting implications of having a one-point single in uh, in football games. So give us a feel, Ed, for someone like me who doesn't know. Give us a feel for the magnitude and the difference between the NFL and the Canadian League. I mean, I know it's yep. going to be enormous, of no, course. No, no. But, I mean, is, is the Canadian League... Laughable? Or Big, is it, no, 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 no. It's a it's a very entertaining. It's been around for a really long time. Very traditional league. Wider field and longer field. Twelve men what? instead of eleven, wow. and three downs instead of four. And guys can go in motion in any direction at any time. So you can see guys in the in American motion, you have to go backwards when you have a guy in motion. In Canadian football, more than one can go in motion, and they can even go forward. So you can go out and then head towards the line and keep running. And do people it's cross, crazy. Do people cross leagues very often? It sounds like a different game. Well, it is a different game. What it has done, it is an opportunity for a lot of American players who – can't make the NFL to go up and have really good careers in Canada. Some come back. Warren Moon, the Hall of Fame quarterback for the Houston Oilers, started, had a great career in Canada with the Edmonton Eskimos. So you do get guys like that. And in fact, there's a great documentary on a kid, Anthony Calvillo, out of uh, a very rough area of L.A., couldn't get on with any NFL team. He's been in Canada for like 20 years. He's like the all-time passer in the Canadian Football League. So it does become kind of a de facto home for some of these players. What is the NFL version of the Triple A's? Uh, yeah, that's a great question. There really isn't one of those. You've got some semi-professional they leagues. They have their feeder clubs, though? Not really, per se. The colleges act as that. I mean, I could yeah. give you we, – we could talk for an hour about old semi-pro football because my dad was involved in it for years, which is fascinating stuff, playing on fields where there are auto parts strewn on the field and, and guys getting paid under the table and things like that. But, yeah, there's not really a feeder club, per se. And the UFL collapsed, and we're now 10 years on from Vince McMahon's XFL. The XFL, yeah, that was – there have been all sorts of – challengers to the NFL, the World League, the USFL, as you mentioned, the XFL, which a lot of people thought would really succeed because McMahon did such a great job with world wrestling. But NFL is king. The NFL is absolutely dominant. In fact, the World Series is on, and people are watching this 
terrible Monday night game and it's outrating it like really yeah really? like That's two to one. Does that mean um, baseball's got a problem? No, not really. It just shows you how strong the NFL is. What about the LFL? That starts on the lingerie the, league. Of course, we forgot to mention that. Yeah, we, we, we we'll have <laughs> to make Doc's that. Doc's it already. I do. <laughs> I, I do education. That can be his segment. <laughs> I just happened to see an ad for it today. <laughs> of course you <laughs> did. Doc. Of course you did. Who was playing? Do you know? <laughs> I, I, I don't. The passion. I, I don't know. <laughs> well, they're, they're, some of their names are sensational. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, we've got two callers on the line, don't we? We've got, uh, we've got Michael on the line. You there, Michael? Michael, hello. We've got you there, Michael. Mickey, come on, mate. What Michael, don't blow it. Here you go, Michael. I'm here. Hey. Hello. Fantastic, hey, ha- Michael. How are you going? We'll get you just to practice your buzzer, mate. Yeah, what is it? Ah, it's your own name. I was just I was testing to uh, see if you already knew. Okay, yeah, Michael. Ah, good work. And, uh, and Matt, are you there? I'm here. Fantastic. Matt, we'll get you to practice your buzzer as well. Matt. Fabulous, guys. So, uh, yeah. They did stuff it up week one. So they did? No, that's right. right. No, that sounds we, we silly, but you're right. about We this. do. We do. So the uh, the rules of the games, boys, I will give out hints. You uh, you buzz by saying your own name. Uh, you get a free crack at uh, the correct answer. Uh, if you get the answer incorrect, your uh, your opponent will get two free clues uh, where you're not allowed to interrupt. If you do get the answer correct, then you're going to win an NFL game pass, courtesy of Betstar, for the uh, for the home and away season and for the playoffs. Wow. Um, So first clue, guys. I was born in Ohio in 1982. I played college football for the Miami Red Hawks. I am a two-time Pro Bowl selection. Was that a guess? No, no. no. Have we got a buzzer? We don't. No. No. Uh, I've won two Super Bowls. I was the 2004 Diet Pepsi NFL Rookie of the Year. I am the youngest Super Bowl winning quarterback in NFL history. This is the last clue, so I hope one of you get it right. <laughs> I am the all-time leading Pittsburgh Steelers passer. That's all. You got another clue for us, Ed? Wow. Uh, is, sorry, was that... Is anyone, is anyone coming in? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. Another clue? Wow. Uh, he got... Charged with rape. Two he years was ago. charged. He's had a controversial off-field uh, issue. Is it Rogers? Michael? No, uh, uh, no Michael. What? And he's Hang now. Up. No. no, Michael. Yeah. Michael said his name. You've buzzed in. Is it, is it Aaron Rodgers? No, no, no it's not, not Aaron Rodgers. He's got a, got a wife and baby. He's got four. His last name is four syllables. Well, his initials are B R. Michael's had a crack. Uh, Matt's still there. Matt, do you want to buzz in? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I think we're going to have to let this one go through to the keeper. He's, what we're going to do got, is anybody else, anybody else who's listening, the first person to call in with the correct answer oh, is going to win the NFL oh, game pass. Ready. And if you've got Google, it's Google, dot com. <laughs> and uh, if you ring up with the correct answer, uh, you're going to win the NFL game pass. We've got to let it go off. But... Uh, Bad luck, Michael and Matt. Good effort, but uh, maybe next week you can have another crack. It's funny when I uh, went to the media day before uh, the Super Bowl Forty Six. Is the only guy they all wanted to talk to, Ed? Is that right? we've, I mean, we've was... got a we've got a different Matt in Ivanhoe. Uh, shall we test him and see if he's got the uh, the answer? Of course, let's do it, Matt. What have you got for us, mate? Um, I've been advised one of the other guys got it, but it's Ben Roethlisberger. Yes, it is, Matt. Well done. Nice work, Matt. Coming in. Good work, Matt. He just swooped in and just taken all the prizes. (laughs) His name rhymes with (laughs) Hothlisberger. That was going to be my next one. (laughs) Matt, if you hang on the line, mate, Tim will have a chat to you, buddy, and uh, we'll get all your details. One of the best uh, uh, customer service guys will give you a call tomorrow. We'll set it all up for you, mate. Well done, buddy. Having another good year is Roethlisberger. He's having a very good year, yeah. And that was the worry early on when Steelers weren't playing very well, even though he he was having a pretty good year. They're throwing the ball a lot, and apparently he's not happy with this little dink and dunk, passes. they call it. Yeah, these little short passes, which the Patriots have now resorted to. I'm starting to find it very hard to watch the New England Patriots. These little six-yard passes, seriously, and they, they never huddle. It's all at the line. I'm starting to get really bored of New England, I'll be honest Thomas with you. complaining to the missus when he goes home about all he, the probably, Yeah, Giselle, passes. I'm just not happy. Yeah. Before we come back and do studs and duds, Ed, I just wanted yes. to ask you quickly, NFL heading to London, Pats and Rams. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's just in the one PM slate. the The American audience doesn't see it as that big a deal. Correct. Why doesn't it strike a chord? I mean, the, 